There you go. Excellent. Perfect. For the last two months, science teacher Cindy Scognamillo and a group of her eighth grade students meet twice a week, every week, two hours after school one day and one hour before school the other. It's more than dedication to a project for the STEAM Expo. It's a labor of love for a fellow student, Maria Pizzo. I thought it was really nice and caring and like they thought of me, like of the struggles I went through. Like all city public schools, IS-201 in Diker Heights has wheelchair accessible desks, but the students in Maria's class decided to build her an enhanced desk and enter it in this year's contest that highlights science, technology, engineering, art, and math. They researched handicapped desks. We spoke to Maria also. I then had went back to her with some of the stuff. I said, is there anything else you can think of? The desk is modified to fit Maria's needs, like a panel that tilts up so she can place an iPad or book, a water bottle holder, and a hook that makes her knapsack more reachable instead of keeping it on the back of her wheelchair. In the beginning, it was just two big pieces of wood. Now it's like more than that. It's just like a fully built desk that you know helps someone with their struggles, especially Maria, because she's, a, she's on a wheelchair. The students sketched a design and have been involved in the building every step of the way. It's been a lot of fun working with my friends on this project and trying to uh, help Maria get a, a better sense of independence. Win or lose at the competition, Skogna Millo says she already has gotten the best reward as an educator. To me, I already won. It's been so rewarding because Maria is so happy and the students care so much. They've been so compassionate. The District 20 STEAM Expo takes place on March 28. 38 different schools will be participating. We wish the kids here at IS201 and all the students competing the best of luck. From Diker Heights, Brooklyn, Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.